Hi, I'm David Ansari, and in this video, I'm gonna show you some cool stuff. I want to create a playlist or video series about game maker physics. So at the end of this video series, you will be able to do games like this that have physics on it, that has car in it, and uh, there is a lot of cool animation in it. And you can see the slow motion. I will show you all of this, and I will show you how easy you can do all of this in your game. And believe me, it's easy to do with Game Maker physics options. And let me show you another one here. So you can see in here we have this egg that shouldn't break, and we have this cool car. It's not cool, but we we will do a better car in our game. Okay, so you can do all of this in Game Maker. In Unity, it was easy to do something like this. It's just by drag and dropping. There there won't be a lot of coding in Unity but it don't give you a lot of options okay in game maker you have a lot of options but it, there is a little compl complex okay so first of all what we should learn we should learn about physics so without any further ado let's begin so in here let's just create project of game maker language let's call it physics save and all of this code is available at my Patreon page, of course. And um, I want to show you some basic things about physics, how you can apply that to your game. So it's all another thing from what you have learned uh, till now, okay? For that, let's just create some sprite, okay? So one sprite for triangle. Let's edit it and here create an... So let's just create triangle here, here, and let's fill top, and that, that's our triangle, okay? Let's create another sprite for circle. Let's just create a circle here, save it. Let's just create another sprite for a box, okay? As image, let's fill it up, okay? So know that we have all of these sprites, and let's just close them for now and create object for them, because for physics, we need object okay so let's call this one obg box add an sprite to it create another object for obg circle add an sprite to it create another object for our triangle even a sprite that we created so now that we have all of these objects let's just open up our room first thing to do to have physics in your game let's just make this small for us for me to show you in properties of our room go to room physics and enable physics okay that's how easy it is done first property is gravity toward x okay so how much gravity it should have um, according to the x and how much gravity it should have according to the y so if we, you know that zero and zero is in up left in game maker and if we say gravity y is 10 so the 10 is going down and the gravity is 10 to the down okay and the pixel to meters with setting that you said that if you put one in here it said that each pixel is one meters that's what it is okay so let's just put it back to this and um, we have the physics enabled in our room okay so let's just add this box in here and run it okay nothing will happen would happen why because we didn't enable physics for our object box so let's just go to object box and tell, tell it to use physics okay it has some uh, default property so let's just uh, let's not change it right now but you can see that gravity is applied to it okay there is three type of uh, physics object in game maker one of them is a static second one is dynamic and third one is kinematic so the static is when you have something that you don't want to uh, apply any gravity to it apply any physics to it okay so like uh, our wall wall shouldn't uh, move by gravity okay or, or ground okay so for for us uh, to change that uh, physics type we should go to physics in here first thing is density so density is the weight or mass of this object so if you put zero in here it means that it doesn't have any weight okay so it won't change its position and it will be a static this object is called a static physics okay so if we increase this density so it's um, for example it's like 10 kilogram okay so if we had run know that is heavier it should fall down um, rapidly okay so let's just change back to the um, default setting the next is restitution okay so the restitution is amount of bouncing that it should have let me quickly change the color of our ball in here to something like green okay and change the color of our triangle to something like red 
and um, if I want to use this uh, this box for ground, it should be a static, right? So let's just put it at the bottom of our room, make it bigger like this, and let's just go to a workspace. This box I want to be ground. I don't want it to apply gravity to it, so I put this density to zero, so it doesn't have any weight. Okay, so let's just run it again. And you can see that our ground is here. And if we apply the gravity user space physics in here for our circle, and let's just put that circle in here. So it it now has the weight for this, but it, this ground doesn't have weight. And this ball, this circle will be at the top of this and it won't go through it, okay? So now let's just talk about physics, the restitution, okay? So it, it means how bouncy you want it to, to get, okay? So let's make it to the one and let's see what effect it has. So when it's reached ground and you can see it bounces back a lot. It's it's a lot. Let's change the density to something like 10 and again run it. It bounces back, uh, it will get back again. But if we decrease this restitution to something like 0.2, it won't bounce a lot. And you can see it and you can see it, it bounces a little bit less. Another thing is collision group. So uh, you set the group if this, the group set in all of this object will be one, all of them will be interact to each other and it can pull each other, it can push each other and it can do collision to each other, it can do everything. It's like in the same world. But if you change the collision group, it can't do that anymore. So for linear damping and angular damping, let's just go to our room and change this object to rotation, okay? So when we have this the physics, uh, because this ground doesn't have weight, it, this ball will go and rotate and you can see it rotate and go off of this um, box in here, okay? If you increase this linear damping and angular damping, it's like the, when the air blow to our ball or circle and it doesn't let it to um, rotate faster. So that's what angular damping and linear damping is. The next one is friction, okay? The friction is how much friction it has with the uh, ground beneath it, okay? So, or with whatever object that is colliding. And if we increase this um, friction to something like one, it won't it get more stuck to this ground, okay? And you can see it go slower because the friction is a lot, it will stay there, okay? So if we change, uh, change this back to uh, 0.5 and this resolution to 0.1 because I don't want it to bounce a lot. Just see, and you can see it will go further and it will, okay. So this friction, we can use that for our car, okay? So if it has uh, friction, it can, uh, we can use it as a motor that um, change the position of body of our car. And I will show you how you can do that in this video series. So let's just put it to 0.1 again and see it. And you can see it, it's doing its work. And this that we did talk about was dynamic physics. But there is another one that is kinematic. What kinematic is, it's something between static and dynamic. And I will show you how it works in the next videos. Okay, the next thing that I want to show you in this physics um, property is modified collision shape. So you can see it in here. Right now, the collision shape in here is this. Um, four dots that is in here, but we don't want it that we don't want that because this is a circle. So we should change this the circle, okay? And it will give you two point, two point. So one of them is for um, the center of the circle and one of them for the radius, and it will automatically do that for us. So with saving that, with closing that, you will save that, okay? And for the box, let's just modify that as well. And you can see it's automatically do it correctly. And for the this triangle, so let's just go to physics. First of all, let's just use physics and go to physics and modify its shape. And you can see the shape is not correct. So let's just go here and select this convex shape. And in here, if we click on this, click here here click here and with that we can create this collision shape okay so now that we created we can modify it like this to be perfect and know everything is perfect okay so let's just put this one is in here rotate it a little bit go down and let's see what effect it has okay so i, I want this to be a static and don't move its position now let's just run it again and this circle will rotate through it and it will stay in here
here and you can see all the physics apply automatically and we don't need to do anything in the next video i will show you how you can create a seesaw okay so we need all of these steps so you know about all of these options so you can use it in your game like that car game that i did show you how you can have car tank or a uh, motorcycle or bicycle or whatever you can have that thank you very much for watching it it is my honor to have you till the end of this video if you want to help me please hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you very much bye